Hi there everyone and welcome into this Aquarius new moon. Uh, January 21st, 2023 is when I'm doing this uh, recording. <laughs> I'm not doing it alone. In the back I have my son Eric, so you might hear him because he's hanging out with me at this moment. But the energies for today have been incredibly potent and I had this very strong um, urging <laughs> request, it doesn't really feel like a request, um, that I needed to um, get the camera up and going and to bring in this message for everyone um, watching to support you in this new beginning that's really starting, um, really uh, transforming into at this time. This has been a very potent week, uh, at least personally in my life. So please let me know how this has gone for you. Lots of astrology, lots of forward energy, and at the same time, it's not quite yet ready to hit the ground running. So a lot of that push-pull tension, let me know how it's hitting you. Um, and if you are really frustrated and things are gosh, like getting that rug ripped out from under you, please know that you are not alone. You are not going through this alone. Uh, now, if you are new to this channel, my name is Chrissy Whistler. I am an intuitive, an astrologer, and I'm also a healer. So if you would like um, a reading for yourself, messages from your souls, or if you would like a, um, a birth chart reading with Chart Your Stars, please send me a message. You'll find more information at my website at chrissywhistler.com, and you'll find the link below in the description. And please like this video, subscribe to this channel, that really does help me to get this out there to more people like you who want to understand the astrology, who want to know about the energy of these current moments and how to best work with it. So I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for being here and thank you for saying yes to this journey. Okay, now with that said, let's get into this reading and find out um, how we are all being asked to step into this very Aquarian, uh, rebellious kind of energy, doing things differently. <sighs> Bringing in the new. We have Aquarius, I'm um, sorry, Uranus. <laughs> this Aquarius uh, new moon is, um, is being ruled by Uranus and Uranus will actually be stationing direct uh, tomorrow on the 22nd, right on that north node. So very potent moment in time. So let's see how we are being asked to be sacred rebels for this collective, for our future. Okay, it's this one. Okay, hang on, I got one that fell on the floor too. Okay. So Spirit wants both of these to come out. So um, the first one is Big Bold Vision. And then we have Inner Trust. So already, this is really big energy. Why do I say that? Okay, so right now the the astrology and not just um, the main system I use is evolutionary astrology, which is a Western system. But in other astrology systems, this moment of time that we are in is really about going within. Um, I mentioned before I, I even pulled these cards that the energy is this ramping up, ready to go, and yet at the same time, you can be really felt like you're being held back, that there's something not quite ready to just um, release that parking brake, just to shoot forward, like there's still this lining up of energy that's happening, and that's what I'm really feeling with this inner trust card. So where in your life are you needing to go um, into the shadow I'm hearing? I'm looking at her image and I'm seeing how half of her face 
is um, exposed to the light. And in the other half, there's a little bit of shadow happening, a little bit of darkness. So where do you need to go exploring that shadow? Where do you need to give true and deep trust to yourself? Where in, you, in your life have you been hiding? I'm also feeling a lot of this um, Pluto energy coming forward, this transformation. Pluto is also conjunct the sun and the, um, and the moon at this Aquarius new moon. So there's this, um, this really going into the shadows really seeing what has been hidden and bringing that into light and there's something here within you what is it within you that you need to go into the shadows and see where in you do you need to give yourself trust And the reason that this is being asked of all of us at this time is because we are coming into, we're moving into this big, bold vision energy. It's, but it's not there yet. There's like this alignment that needs to first happen within. needs to happen within first before we can bring it out into the world now this is this period of time of visioning in fact um just the synchronicities vision um that was actually the name of what i was really um calling to the astrology video that i did on this aquarius new moon and i will go ahead and link that for you but this this whole january period and I really feel leading into this um, spring equinox in March, this is a big time of visioning. To, to put your trust to move forward with this big, bold vision, something that's never been seen, never been done before. Um, I'm hearing this, this is like this inner time of prototyping and reworking um, this vision. It's, it's almost like revisioning of it, seeing it in a whole new way. Um, as Uranus stations direct on the 22nd, you might really find that there's going to be a lot of clarity coming through for you as we leave this new moon energy and head towards the full moon, which is going to be in Leo. Um, I'm going to have to check the dates for you exactly, but uh, early February, and I'll, I'll, I'll put that in there for you so you know what that is. Um, but we're moving into that. But there's this aligning up that needs to happen first. This visioning as well, I'm really picking up on this a year, very Uranian Aquarius energy taking us into the future um, which we haven't seen yet it's still coming together but we don't quite know what it is it, it, but it's like I, I just feel this 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 project this creative endeavor um, maybe this is even a community that you're working to build but it's something it, it just feels really big really expansive and this promise of this this future manifestation of this visioning so long as you can go and come into this deeper alignment within yourself where where are those holes that you are needing to fill. This not seeking outside of yourself for others to fill what's missing, but how can you give that to yourself? How can you trust that you have that within you already? That fire, that strength, that passion to even make this vision a reality. Okay, and I just want to just few more messages to come through regarding this card. This is so much about 
you taking this opportunity, this new beginning, to let go of this need to hide yourself from the world, to let go of any doubt about who you are and the wonder and the strength and the power that you have. This is the time for you to trust yourself and to let this new, not new, but this real inner you out into the world. That is what is going to be required of you to bring forward this big, bold vision. Trust your intuition. Trust what you sense and what you know within yourself. Um, and again, this can very much be this invitation to go deep within into your shadows and to see all that's there light, dark, and shadow, and to integrate that back into you so you can move forward with this amazing vision and manifestation project that you have. You truly do know what you are doing. This is the time to really take this leap of faith into yourself and into this vision this calling on your soul. Trust yourself. Do it differently, which is absolutely perfect with this Aquarius energy, this Aquarius new moon, Uranus stationing direct right there on that north node. This is the time to go and do it differently because you were born not to play small. You were born born to be big and to be bold, to dream big and let those dreams out of the shadows. Stop hiding them. Do not worry that that vision is too much for you. Like, no, not at all. Like you, you are here. You are born to do this thing. You truly are. The more that you do this healing, this growing, this releasing of your inner self out into the world, that that is what's going to allow this big, bold vision to manifest, to succeed, to come to life, to really reach and touch others. Uranus is also so much about being this visionary and visionary of the future. And that is exactly who you are. Um, and I would not be surprised if through this new moon period that you're going to get some real sudden insights, again, big visions um, of what you are here to do. Clarity, crystal clarity coming through, a deep knowing. You may find as well that um, whatever vision you might have had, um, at the start of this, um, even at the start of when Uranus went retrograde, that vision could very well be different as Uranus goes direct. Like there's this, um, this something, something here is really opening for you. That's what it feels like. Um, this something really big and positive. Okay. I'm, I'm going to keep going. Let's, let's see what else we have. Um, okay. No, they're telling me to go here first. Okay. <laughs> let's see what else we have coming forward. Okay. Okay, we've got Unicorn Portal. Focus your light. Listen for a message. Let's see, we've got messages coming through. Manifest your dreams. There's card 22 as well. Focus on your vision. Seek satisfaction and contentment. Okay, yes. Um, <laughs> that's quite a clear message um, 
This is interesting too that this card is talking about the light. Um, we do have Celestia right now. She is going to be aspecting this, um, this new moon. She is right now conjunct to Jupiter. Celestia is bringing in this light energy. You might find that you're going to have some light code activations, messages coming in through the light, um, liquid light energy. Um, the sun has been very active um, this first half of January. So lots of photonic light coming in. Sun is being very active. So this could, um, this could be very activating for you. But also, again, there's, there's this message that's coming in and it feels like not only with just light, but this intuition, really tune in so you can even hear it. Like you need to pause in your life long enough to listen so you can hear it. If you're in this constant going, 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 you might miss it or you might not hear it with that same clarity that this opportunity that Uranus is really bringing in. So really take some time um, through the rest of this January um, and, and even to into this full moon. So new moons are setting up this next cycle, this next moon cycle for us. And then we'll have this culmination, this illumination of these energies at the full moon. So pay attention and just see if you can have some real moments of stillness. I feel that you might also be getting these messages from your soul um, around where you need to um to shed these shadows, to really let your light out into the world. Um, because when you do that, um, and you get these messages coming in, like you're gonna, you're gonna hear again, even clearer this vision that you are here to manifest, to bring out into the world. And the reason, the reason it's making you like that spirit is, is really encouraging you to go through this is because you're not just looking for, oh, the big manifestation, oh, the big money. No, like you want satisfaction, contentment, um, peace, freedom. Okay, so that's why there's this deeper work, this deeper alignment that's taking place. Because you're, you're, again, you're bringing in something new, something that hasn't been done before. But keep the faith. That's what that 22 is telling us. Really hold the faith, hold to this vision that you are feeling um, that your soul is guiding you on. Okay, let's, um, let's see the astrology. What else we've got here? Okay, so we have fourth house. All right, we've got Virgo. Taurus, and then we have, here we go, South Node. I was definitely feeling that Scorpio energy. Um, the South Node of the Moon is currently going through Scorpio. Now, North Node uh, of the Moon is in Taurus, and Uranus is right there conjunct Taurus. Taurus. <laughs> and as I said at the beginning, um, tomorrow is Uranus Station direct Uranus will be stationing on that north node in Taurus so what is any of this telling us um, this energy is about really um, okay let me back up just a moment so south node this whole week um, you might have been really experiencing this reliving of the past past life circumstances um, this could also be around relationships, partnerships, home, family. Um, have you felt emotionally safe? Have you felt even stable? Um, and, and again, right now in our world, there's so much up around not feeling safe with, um, with money, 
resources, food supplies. I mean, here in the United States, like eggs are a hot commodity. Okay. And in some places you can't get them. So there is this, um, there is this um, intensity around those areas. And you might have been really feeling them this week, really feeling into, um, this even feels like um, tuning in right now into this just collective energy of um, scarcity, lack, this reliving of prior timelines where that wasn't um, where that was the case, where there wasn't enough food. And so that's really playing out this week. Um, South Node is just going through that right now. And as I said, we have Pluto is conjunct the Sun and the Moon in Aquarius at that one degree. So there's also this transformation of um, systems and societies, okay, where that I don't want to go too into the astrology, just give you guys what you need to know. Um, but a real transformation um, in our society where, where our needs are not actually being met. How we are not actually being valued. Is this even equal and fair um, energy exchange? That can be some of the themes and, and really going through this, hmm... Okay, hang on. Virgo is catching my Virgo. This Virgo energy has something to say. So what I'm feeling right here is um, this energy could be very like um, really separating and really looking, really discerning around money. Like really like almost opening up your wallet and seeing how much you have, how much do those egg costs, can you get this, can you still get that? Like that can be some of that energy that you've been feeling as well. Again, around that home and not feeling safe. Just seeing if there's anything else to add with that piece. So this can be some of what you've been experiencing this week. Some that you can be experiencing, I'm hearing, this next month, okay? As I said, this is the next moon cycle. So this can be very much playing out. Um, again, this reliving of the past, and not even just your past, but collective, humanity past. We're going through this together. We're doing this deep inner work and asking of ourselves to come into the light, but in order to do that, you have to see what's there in the shadow. So that's what this some Scorpionic Pluto transformation is really asking of us. And it is so we can move forward into this Taurus energy, into what it is that you love, what it is that you are here to do, what you're here to bring forward out into the world. And again, doing it at your pace. What is it that you value? home, emotion, safety, intuition, this, this more like returning to the feminine, returning to the earth. Both of these are earth energies as well, this returning to home, our home being earth. All right, let's, um, let's keep going and see what else we have coming through. There's quite a few. Let's see what we have here. Okay, look. We've got Eclipse and Cancer with Acceptance. An emotional phase or domestic development. There you go. Um, cancer is the ruler of the fourth house. And we also just had a um, full moon in Cancer on January 6th. Now, um, if you want to know more about that energy, go back to my astrology video for this um, 
for this January 2023 because I mentioned it, I talked about it there, but that is very much um, up in the field of returning to this emotional safe space and home and eclipses are well is this, they're pivot points, really pivot points. Okay, let's see what else. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, here's another eclipse. And it's an eclipse in Aquarius. And this is all about awakening. Your deeper resolve arises. Yes. And then we... <laughs> okay, eclipse in Leo. Compassion. Shine brightly like the star that you are. And let's see what this other card is. Oh my God, eclipse in Sagittarius, growth. And this is number 33 too. Success after a setback. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Four eclipse cards. I knew that there was a message that Spirit was wanted me to come in and share with you. Um, wow. Okay, as I was saying, eclipses are they're big. They are, they are turning points, pivot points. And in fact, at this Aquarius new moon, we have Manway at the Aries point, And she is right now conjunct Jupiter. Um, she is bringing in this energy of divine creation. This turning point of divine creation. And here we are. We are at this turning point. This is going to be so much around these energies. Okay. Um, as I said, Aquarius. Aquarius is waking us up. Bringing us into this future. Really be mindful right now. Um, I feel like some of you are really going to get some big downloads coming in. Um, out of nowhere, think of it like um, an antenna, and you're just getting these just boom, these downloads from on high to you. This is very interesting. We've got this Leo card right now. Um, we have Black Moon Lilith going through Leo. She is opposite to this Aquarius new moon. So this is again really about you need to shine your light. You need to be the star that you are. So where in your life do you need to let go of this veil and really come forward and be yourself? Shine because you are going to have success. Look at this growth that's happening. This is, this is okay. This is what's happening right now under the surface, um, even if you can't see it. This vision, this dream, um, it is growing. It is growing. You may also find that you are having a lot of setbacks during this time. But do not let that stop you. Hold to your deep resolve right now. Okay. So the other thing that I'm picking up on with these energies specifically is about this cancer. So whatever's happening for you this week, really accept, really surrender to what it is. Whatever emotion, whatever is happening within your home that's developing, like don't resist it. Surrender, accept. If you're not feeling well, you don't just push through like society tells us we need to just keep going to work. No, you need to lay down and rest your body and take a nap. So that's this acceptance, acceptance to what is, acceptance to what this moment is asking of you. We are all really learning to not just be the doing, but be the being, be the human being. That's what this cancer is telling us. That's how we are going to be successful with these dreams and this big, bold vision because we're actually taking care of our inner selves. All right, let's, um, let's see what else we have coming forward. Hmm. 
right. Let's see what these are. Okay, stretch. <laughs> Listen. Fortitude. And then we have, okay, perception. So um, this is just really reiterating so much of this message already. Um, this is really stretching us um, beyond where we are comfortable or where we have hidden our light. Um, this developing fortitude to be out there in the world, to be seen. Um, this is a time that we need to really listen to, um, to others, to, um, to this information that's coming in for us, but also to our soul and the different parts within us and what they have to say. Because those different pieces, they're bringing in these different perceptions. And that's going to be really important to understand, understand those different parts understand why you might not have felt um, like you could trust yourself or you weren't safe to be out there and shining in the world or why you were having all these setbacks. There can be this need to really review and reflect and see from a whole new, whole new viewpoint, whole new perception vantage point okay this is Uranus so this really asking us to go higher to see from this higher perception so we can better understand what's being asked of each of us at this time and of course that's going to be different for each of you Oh my gosh, those really flew out of my hands. All right, let me get those. Sorry about that. They literally just fly out of my hands. And there's half the deck, it seemed like. Okay. Look at that. Pluto rebirth. Uh. Okay, clearing that energy. Libra with balance. All right, so yeah, um, absolutely, we are going through this rebirth process. As I said, I was really picking up on this Pluto energy. Um, you may feel that this week in particular, you might even feel this through this whole moon cycle. So if you do, um, please know that I see you. Um, this rebirth process, this transformation that Pluto is asking of all of us at this time is, it's not an easy energy. So if you need help, do please reach out um, because you're not, you're not alone. And I, my heart just goes out to some of you who are really struggling right now, but there, please take this at least as this confirmation that what you are going through, this breaking down process it is so you can be reborn so you can come in to all this energy this really being out there and shining your light in the world and bringing in this big vision that only you can bring in but you can only bring it in after you have been reborn after you have let go and released all these old limiting beliefs um, scarcity, especially around yourself and who you are, like it needs to get burned down. Okay, alchemy. Here's Virgo, this distillation, calcification of what is not working and letting it go so your full light can come in. And here with this Libra, this balance, yes. Um, this is what I was really um, feeling with this cancer energy coming in. Um, we do have the north node of Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter. It's all in cancer. 
So it's asking us to leave this distorted Capricorn, this always working, um, never, never joy, never play, never having that emotional safe space, um, leaving that behind and coming into Cancer. So it's about balance. Coming into and relearning actual balance within ourselves and within the world. And I'm hearing as well that this is going to include whatever big vision that you are bringing forward, that you are growing. Look for where in your life that you need balance. Okay, let's pull one final message. Whew. This certainly has been a very powerful <laughs> message. Okay, what else do we need to know, Spirit? Okay, I'm feeling it right there. Oh, look at that. You are worthy. It is time to stop feeling unworthy, unloved, and undeserving. You are worthy. So where in your life do you need to really go into that shadow, those old stories, and bring forward a new perception and let go of the old? I'm just sitting with these energies for just a moment to see if there's anything else that Spirit would like to say. This is the time to bring forward your light. Do not think that it needs to be a big, bold light right out of the gate. That is what our world has told us, taught us that it must be. When in fact, sometimes it's when it starts very small and grows and grows and grows. That is when it becomes its greatest and brightest because it had learned and grown along the way, built up this fortitude. And that is you. And that is your journey at this time. That brilliant, bright light is who you are becoming. If you allow yourself to become To be as worthy as we know that you already are. Oh, whew. yeah, just a lot of energy coming in through my crown right now, my crown chakra. That message really does feel complete. Whatever it is that you are here to bring forward, please know that even as you go through this darkness, darkness in the world, darkness within yourself, there is a reason for it. So go within to that. Don't shy away. Go deep within it and see if you can listen. See if you can see and find this true perception that's been hiding from you. And that is really going to help you shift, help you to grow in this grand new way. And please, please, please hold compassion for yourself during this time, for yourself and for others. This is not an easy time to be on this planet. Um, but there is something new and big and exciting 
this new manifestation that's right on the other end of this portal that we are in. And it's there for any of us who wish to say yes to this journey. Yes to going into the dark so we can find the light. The light that we've had within us this whole time. I do hope this was helpful and supportive for you. Again, do please reach out if you are needing support. If you would like um, a private reading for yourself, I do have messages from your soul where we would do this, um, this deeper dive for you as well as looking at your astrology. So check out my website for those details. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. It helps me so much. And I just appreciate you for being here that you are here at this moment, on this planet, at this time, that we're going through it, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, we are going through it. This massive change, I mean, all these eclipse energies, like, I just appreciate you for being here and saying yes to this. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.